Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're currently thinking about or connecting with. What do you need to know about them, their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and next actions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Aries. Messages, guidance, please. For, for Aries. Regarding the person they're thinking about connecting with at this time, Spirit, what do we need to know? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Aries? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Aries at this time, Spirit? Their energies at this time. Okay, Five of Swords, Seven of Wands, and Death, Scorpio Energy. Okay, so they're thinking of some sort of fight issue. There's a Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Could invite, invo invite involve more than one person. But yeah, I'm getting like, so there's some sort of um, pushback, fight issue between you and this person that they're thinking about. When they think about you, this is what comes to mind. Um, death is here, change, ending, maybe it brought about some sort of an ending, maybe your connection ended because of another person, maybe your connection ended because of a fight. We'll have to see what else we get. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit, about the energies between Aries and this person, or this person's energies towards Aries. What other energies towards Aries? What other energies? Huh? It's a lot. Far apart. Distance is affecting your connection. Distance, separation, divide. Okay, so you and this person are not together. Victory lap. Success, victory, unhealthy attachment. Past life. Okay, so I think this is an X that you ended things with. Aries, there's true love at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a soulmate that you're dealing with or someone that you had a strong connection with in the past. Um, they're thinking about why things ended. They're thinking about why you're not together. Um, okay, hold on. Let me get myself together here. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the Five of Swords here? Wow, the higher font, Taurus energy. Hmm. Well, these two cards, I instantly think about marriage. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Wow, the Empress. Three of Wands. I feel like um, this person has a third party or there's a third party involved. There's someone else here. It could even be like a parental figure. Three of Wands and the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Seven of Cups. Interesting. I feel like your person is not happy where they're at, Aries. I feel like there's issues there, but there's also issues with you. So they can't stay where they're at, but they can't go to you either. At least they don't feel like they can. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. The Devil Capricorn Energy. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. King of Cups. Yeah, okay, so. Seven of uh, Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person, yeah, Seven of Cups showed up and now the Seven of Pentacles. They're like weighing their options, but they have doubts over the future. There's the Two of Cups. They're thinking about you. Their chances with you, but whatever happened between you, this person feels like they couldn't can't come back. Like they can't come back after this or because of the way it ended or because they have a third party. 
it's almost like I'm picking up that this person cares about you, but is almost like ashamed to come forward or feels like you wouldn't be okay with them coming back. And I don't know why that is, Aries. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea why this person would feel that way, but it's almost like they feel like they're they're going to get some sort of resistance if they were to come back or you would be opposed to starting things over or whatever or like hearing them out. Interesting. Okay, tell me about death. Tell me about death. Nine of swords. Jeez. Worry, anxiety, stress. Tell me about death. Why is death here? The world. Yeah. This person's worried. Okay. Three of swords. This person's worried about ending a situation because they have nowhere to go to. King of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. I am not going to look at all of these. But I wanted to look at those two on the side. Okay. So this is interesting. Oh, wow. The Fool. So Aries, this is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up that your person feels stuck. They're probably stuck in an unhealthy attachment or a situation that's not doing well. Um, and I feel like... It's involving another person. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? The Sun and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. I feel like this Empress is possibly you. But to have you, something has to end. Or there was a difficult ending with you. And so it's not so easy because I don't feel like you and this Queen of Pentacles are the same. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. The Hermit. Yeah, this person's thinking over... Yeah, they're thinking. They're, Virgo energy with the Hermit, Ten of Wands. They're thinking a lot. They're way down, overwhelmed with a choice that they have to make. Um, and there's the Five of Pentacles and again the Two of Cups. So it's almost like this person... They're, they're against between a rock and a hard place. So, you know, the situation they're in is not good. But they also burned a bridge with you. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Because that's why they're so worried about this future. Because if they already knew that things would be work... Like, if they already knew that things would work out and that they could just come right back to you, I think that they would have left a long time ago. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I mean, Four of Swords. So once again, someone's really thinking, reflecting on a new opportunity. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Ten of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's the Emperor. There you are, Aries, and the Queen of Cups. I think this person... They, they, this again, I keep getting this a message for so many signs. You, you have to end something to begin something new. Everybody's thinking about what's ahead, the future. I don't know if it's because of what's been happening the last two years with this whole COVID situation or what, but it's almost like everybody's thinking about what matters, what the future will hold, what their future will be like. Hang on one second, uh, Aries. But I feel like, actually, never mind, I'll just wrap this up. My dog is like whining outside because he locked himself out. Okay, so we'll just let him wait a little bit longer. This He'll be okay. Let's get some insight into this person's energies. Tell me about this person. What are their energies towards Aries? What are their energies towards Aries at this time? What are their energies? I have to give something up. Exactly. And I want a second chance. Yeah. That's the problem, though. They can't just come right to you. There's something that's keeping them from coming right to you. And I think part of it is, obviously, the third party situation that they're in. But also, I think part of it is that things didn't end well with you. Tell me more about this person's energies. Towards Aries. 
I want you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you and my life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, because they're not doing well where they're at. Whatever situation they're in right now, Aries, it's not good. And I'm speaking to an Aries where there is someone else, someone got in the way. There's some other responsibility or obligation. And that's that's why this person and you are not together. I'm speaking to an Aries that you're not together with this person. Tell me more about this situation, these energies for Aries. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and romantic feelings. Okay, so yeah, there's feelings involved here, but it's going to take effort. It's not something, It's this isn't up... This isn't a situation where like feelings will be enough because something they have to give something up and that's going to take effort, time, energy, focus. Okay. What are this person's intentions towards Aries? What are this person's intentions, next actions towards Aries? What are their intentions? Next actions towards Aries their intentions, next actions towards Aries, their intentions, next actions. Ace of Wands was reversed, but I'm going to, why are my cards reversed? Knight of Swords and the World. Okay. Yeah. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person, they are running towards a new beginning here. Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the World. I feel like they're going to talk to you about this or there's a message coming in with the Knight of Swords or some sort of... Um, I'm literally picturing someone that's like running to get something started because of the way that this card, the design of this card, they're running to like jump on a motorcycle. So that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like they're just waiting for a green light to do this, to get on a motorcycle and go. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's going on here with the Knight of Swords? Justice, Libra energy. What's going on here with the Knight of Swords? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this Knight of Swords? Eight of Pentacles. I don't know why these are coming. I don't have reversals here, but there's a bunch of reverse cards in here. Great. I'll just flip them as they come out. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. The Moon. Yeah, Pisces energy. There's doubts. This person has doubts about how they're going to be able to make this happen. Seven of Cups and the Moon. What's my? What's the best option that I have? What's the my best? The best path I can take? Is this even possible? I do feel like someone has doubts that they can. That, th that this would actually work. That the future is bright. Tell me about the world. Nine of Cups. Yeah, this is what they want. Tell me about the world. But to have the world, they have to give something up. Tell me about the world. Page of Swords and the Hangman. So, <sighs> Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. I think something to do with information, message is important. I find that the justice card here, there could be a legal situation or a situation where like there's official documents signed or official decisions that are like declared. Um, I feel like your person's waiting for this justice. It's This could also be something to do with work for someone as well. It's like they need they need a green light. Maybe they need to like transfer or something like that. And they can't really even begin this new cycle until they're in the place at the place they want to be at. But there's a lot of doubts. The hangman, seven of cups, the moon and the hermit. Yeah, Virgo energy again. It's almost like, you know, they think a lot about this. I think they think about this like at night or, in, you know, when they're alone. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Wow, ten of cups. Oh my god. Jesus. I always seem to like drop my cards on the floor. It can't be on my lap or on the table. 
Okay, I'm going to pick all of these up. Okay, we have the High Priestess. The Sun and the King of Swords. Clarity. Information. Knowledge. Understanding. With the King of Swords. I think this person needs to talk to you because... Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. You know what I don't see here? I don't see a departure in any of the cards other than like the death card, I guess you could say. Which is interesting because they have to give something up. So I feel like something has to end, but I don't see that here. I mean, the world, you can kind of say, you know, the, the world is all about endings and beginnings. But I, you know, when I clarify the world, I get Page of Swords, Nine of Cups. Tell me about this Page of Swords. So, I, you know, it's almost like someone's talking about a new cycle, a new beginning, doing information about or researching how to have a new cycle, but not exactly doing that. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's communication, but I feel like, okay, so can I get one more? The strength card, Leo energy. I feel like this person needs to talk to you before they actually pull the trigger. And maybe that's why there's doubts about the future because they don't know how you're gonna react or what you'll say or if you're game, you know? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Five of Swords. They're thinking about the conflict here with the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So whatever third party interference there is or existed between you and this person, Aries, they think that's going to be a problem when they return. Like for them to ask a second chance, you know, they, they in their mind... How would you even be open to that because of whatever happened between you? I hope that makes sense. What else do we need to know about this person's energies? What else do we need to know about this person's energy? We will be together again. Someone's confident. <laughs> what else? What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know for Aries? Even though we are apart, our souls are united. So, the, you know, the separation is something that this person thinks about. Maybe you think about it too, Aries. Do you still think about this person even though you're not together? Or have you moved on? Let me know in the comments. But th they're thinking about it. They're thinking about the fact that even though you're apart, your souls are united with true love here. You're still soulmates. You know, you still have a strong connection. You just don't happen to you just don't happen to be together at this time. Bottom of the deck, I'm determined to make things right. Okay, maybe that's where the communication will come in. I honestly, I didn't get a lot of insight into the communication. I feel like the communication is just them saying, "Let me work on things." Eight of Pentacles, justice. Let me make things right. You know. I'll make things right. I'll put in the effort. I'll put in some energy to make things right with these two energies here. But I also thought career. I thought official um, decisions like at a courthouse or a, a building. And then when I clarified the page of swords, I got the eight of wands and then strength. So it's like courage, strength, communicating about strength and courage, you know. So I feel like this person, they're going to be most likely reaching out before they actually give something up. That's kind of what I see here at this time, at the time of this reading. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this, um, how they feel about you reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and you wanna see more videos from me, I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support and I'll see you all in another video very soon.